Welcome to Liam Kuhn, welcome to your weekly financial news. Welcome to Liam Kuhn, welcome to your weekly financial news and on this week's financial news, we'll be discussing how the stock split for two big companies affected their stock value. Yes, we are going to discuss what happened to Tesla and what happened to Apple. If you noticed, uh, a couple of weeks ago, both Apple and Tesla announced that they would be developing a stock split, stock split for their stocks. Uh, in case of Tesla, it was one to five, and so on and so forth was for Apple. The main reason about this was they wanted to divide or split the stock so that they could attract more investors in a lower price so they can raise more capital. That's basic 101. So how is this affected both of their stocks? Well, in the case of Monday, when the stock market opened, if you used some uh, stock uh, buying application or stock buy companies, uh, investment companies, you notice that a high traffic uh, was developed, especially in the early hours of the day, because lots of people were storming to the stock market to get their hands on both stock uh, of Apple and stock of Tesla. You could be on either band of the spectrum or you could be on both bands of the spectrum. If you noticed, uh, specifically with Tesla, how the stock uh, started in the open market from uh, $444 up to $445, $46 when the market opened and it got up all the way up to the $480, $490 mark in just Monday. So that was a 15% gain just in one day. Eventually throughout the week, the stock, the stock for Tesla has been going down because they have been discussing bubbles in this Tesla company that they are not uh, really being very lucrative, but so on and so forth. In the case of Apple, it happens similarly, but in Apple's case, the stock has been, st has been going up steadily and has not seen the decline that Tesla has seen. But what did this, does this mean? Well, if you notice, you've heard that Tesla has been trying to move his company out to different places from California, thanks to the situation that is happening in the state of California. They're trying to move their facilities up to Texas. But yesterday, there was a big news that arrived, is that Tesla is working with Germany to develop one of their uh, headquarters in Germany. And the Germany is willing to give all the resources that Tesla needs. So this is a big step for the company and this could be a great opportunity for you to invest in the Tesla stock. And why is this? Because this is that leap for the company to get into the European market because they will have a facility, they will have a headquarters in Germany. Germany is a big, country in the in the European Union, in Europe, and this is very important for the company because this will give them that specific lead for them to get into that European market instead of just staying local in the United States market. Tesla is a huge company around the world because of their innovation, their technology, and their way of innovating in different ways that not necessarily many people believe that is possible. So this is a big stepping stone for the company. And you should take this in mind because when the market opened today, Tesla's pre-market value was below its Monday value. So this could be a great opportunity for you guys to buy Tesla in a lower value from its regular price. And this could be a great way for you to invest in the future in case Tesla goes in another huge rally like it did in the last couple of six months well, the stock value rose up to $2,000. So this is a great opportunity for you guys. We wanted to share with you guys for our weekly financial video, but we always want to ask you to stay safe, stay healthy, and always remember to have that king mentality.